On a Danish morning this cold and gray, as anxiety deepens over the surge in COVID-19 cases, you might expect to encounter a somewhat darker mood. But for Pau Volk, who started swimming in Copenhagen's harbor during the pandemic, this is the one place where his worries get washed away. It's that like dancing. Like when you go and dance, you're sure you'll get heavy. And it's the same when you go into the water, just for 30 seconds, you get up and you just get an injection of pure happiness. A few hours later, in another part of Denmark's capital, it's not much warmer. But that doesn't stop Josephine Nordgren, who's from Finland. One more round, sorry, one more round. It's one of the reasons I really love living here, that we have the opportunity, like you don't have to go far away to be able to swim. Copenhagen is one of the rare European cities with harbor water clean enough to jump into. But this wasn't always possible. Per Schulz works on new developments for the harbor. He says for many years the water was too polluted to swim in. But all the efforts that went into transforming the harbor from an industrial area into a recreational one have paid off. We actually called it the, the Blue Park. We have a lot of green parks in, in Copenhagen, a lot of green areas, but we also have this uh, blue park where people can enjoy themselves. No big polluting ships here. Even the transport options are more eco-friendly, like this electric-powered ferry. Having a clean harbor is a real point of pride for Copenhagen, but the work is far from over. These days, the aim isn't just to make the area safer for humans, but also to protect the ecosystem that exists beneath the water. These are bio huts, also known as fish hotels. Dozens of steel cages that contain boxes filled with empty oyster shells where algae and small organisms grow. The initiative is a partnership between the World Wildlife Fund and the city of Copenhagen. The vertical walls of piers are, uh, don't show a lot of complexity and this is where bio huts can help. And these bio huts, they they give space for kind of uh, niches where small fish can live, where they get shelter and where they get food. Like the other harbor projects, an attempt to ensure locations that will comfort and an aquatic environment that can flourish. Mohamed Jamjum, Al Jazeera, Copenhagen.